Welcome to our channel once again, my friends. Realize Guyana, home of traditional Guyanese recipes. Today we're going to be doing a recipe for palauri. As you know, we have a video already with uh, all three of the recipes together, which was the, I think, was the bagani, the palauri, and the bar it was. One video, so we've been having requests to do the video separately. So today we're going to be doing the video for palauri by itself. Um, some people say they can't get their palauri round and uh, so on. So we're going to show you exactly how we get ours round. Um, some people think that you have to use a mix, palauri ready mix, in order to get round palauris. No, that's not the case. And uh, we're going to show you here because as you can see we have some split peas we have soaked there. So you can soak this for about two hours to overnight. We're going to be using two and a half cups of flour at the back there in the basin and we're going to be using some scallions of course, some garlic, pepper, salt to taste, roasted ground jiria, baking powder, yeast and some yellow food coloring. So that's all you need for this yummy tasting palauri guys. Palauri goes with, you know, it serves with every function. Yeah, there, there, there doesn't even need to be an occasion to have palauri. It's just so yummy. With some mango sour as, as well. Um, you can have this with cucumber sour, mango sour, whatever, pepper, whatever you would like to have it with. And the um, mango sour is here on our channel already. We have the recipe there. So you can check that out. So without further ado, let's get into this recipe, guys. All right, my friends. So the first thing for this recipe, we're going to blend our peas first, our split peas. So we're going to blend our peas now. And we're going to blend it along with the scallions, the garlic, and the pepper. So everybody likes palauri, right? Palauri and bara and baigini. So we just washed off our scallions there. We're gonna chop them in the blender. So we're gonna add a little bit of water to our blender as usual to help it to blend. Alright guys, so we have our peas blended and we're going to start adding our other ingredients, our <laughs> salt, roasted ground jira, yeast and the baking powder. So you're going to mix in all the dry ingredients first, get everything incorporated in your flour and then you're going to add your peas. Okay, so just give, to give you guys a sense of how much water we're going to be using, we're starting with one cup of water and I'll let you know how much water we're going to be using for this mixture, this palauri mixture. So now we're going to add our split peas which we've blended. So we're going to add our cup of water into our blender which we blended the split peas in. So, so, so that we can get the um, remaining split peas that's stuck in there. And that's our food coloring. Good, so we got everything off the sides and so on. Time to start our mixture. So you guys remember buying palauri in front of the cinema, right? Or just on the roadside you had people used to sell palauri as well. But I can remember back in the days, they used to sell palauri in the cinema. You remember what they used to sell it in? Like how, how they used to give it to you? It was in those uh, square paper, right? Palauri and mango sour drizzled on top of the fresh palauri. Always used to be fresh snack on that watching a show. So we're adding half a cup more water. We've used the cup up already. So by doing that, just taking out all the air from the dough, from the batter.
All right, so we got the texture as you can see there. That's this is what we're looking for. So this is not mixing now. So now we're gonna cover this and put it aside to rise. All right, my friends. So we left our flour mixture to rise. We left it for about an hour and a half. And uh, we're gonna check on this now. We are ready for it. And there you go. It has risen a bit, as you can see. So alright my friends, so you want to set up yourself in a way so that it will be easier for you to fry your palauri because remember you'll have to wet your hands, you'll have to take your your palauri mix and then you'll have to throw it into the bowl when it's done. So you want to set everything up so it's comfortable for you to do what you're doing. So we are waiting on our oil to heat up now. Alright, so we put our, we did the hand test over like that, feels hot. So we're going to test it out with the palauri now and see if it's hot enough. So our oil is hot enough, so we're gonna start frying. So we're gonna start adding now. Some people said that they have a problem in getting their palauri wrong. And we're gonna show you exactly how we do it. So you're gonna... There. You're just creasing the mixture through your um, your index finger and your thumb. There. So that's it there guys, that's the technique in getting your palauri around. And once you've mastered this, it's gonna be so easy for you. And when you're frying your palauri, you want to keep like turning them around so they, the color is even. If you don't turn them, then one side will be dark and the other side is going to be light. So you see how wrong the nice that is? So that's the technique of making a wrong palauri. You don't have to use the instant mix in order to get a wrong palauri. So we're going to fry with the rest guys. And we'll see you at the end. Okay, my friends, so here is our finished product, our palauri, our round palauri, as you can see. Looking scrumptious. So, I just want to mention, guys, that when you're frying your palauri, you want your oil to be a medium heat. You don't want it to be too hot because what's going to happen, your palauri is going to get dark in color and then it'll not cook inside because it's, it's, it's cooking too fast. So you need to keep your heat at a medium temperature and um, check your palauri to see if they are cooked inside once you take them out uh, with the color that you want, right? So preferably a color like this which looks really nice. And we have our mango sour there as well as you can see in the middle. I'll put the link up in the on the right hand corner of your screen for this the recipe to this mango sour. So. So we're gonna break into one of our palauri and let you see how soft they are and they're cooked inside. See that? Look at that. Yummy, right? 
So that's it for this recipe guys. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please click the bell icon so you get notifications from us whenever we post new videos. Please share this video also. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.